Well, let me just start by saying that one of the features of the business of researching on tax is that the statistics that are available are actually not very good, and that's especially true of low-income countries in Africa. So one thing that my center has done over the last three years is put a great deal of effort into producing what we call the National Revenue Data Set, which is in fact the most comprehensive, up-to-date and reliable set of data in the world on government revenues and where they get their money from. Uh, that's been a very big effort, but this is something which is of great interest to WIDA, and it's something that needs continual attention because someone has to continuously update this data. So WIDA, very fortunately, have agreed to take over responsibility for updating this data, for hosting this data, for making this data available to researchers and other people worldwide, and generally promoting the use of this data. We will continue to be involved in a marginal way, but we are delighted that WIDA have taken this responsibility. I think you would get several different answers to that question. The most obvious answer is that governments need revenue, and particularly governments need revenue to spend on the things we'd like them to be spending it on, like health and education and other kinds of public services. And the governments of low-income countries do not raise enough revenue currently to spend as much as they should on those public services. That's the most obvious answer. There is a second answer that many people from low-income aid-dependent countries would give you, and they would say this is a matter of national independence. Uh, they feel that either symbolically or practically that they cannot continue to be dependent on aid, and that indeed aid, aid may not be available for very much longer, and so they need to improve their own revenue system so that they are free of aid donors. Other people, and I am one of them, would say that there are some deeper implications of revenue uh, for the quality of governance. And we would say that there is a very strong connection between good governance and a good tax system. So one way of improving governance in developing countries is not only to get governments to raise more tax, but to raise tax in better ways that involve more consensual, equal relations with citizens, not a relationship of extraction. Well, the UNU wider network is clearly important because it's global, it has a high level of credibility with people all over the world and especially in developing countries. And as an organization that is principally based in the north, um, you know, I obviously very much value cooperation with an organization that is more genuinely global.